Hello baseball fans, this is King Ikibu coming to you live from Connie Mack Stadium, Shy Park in Philadelphia, where we have the final game of this series between the 1930 Phillies and the 1968 Phillies. We've played six games already. The 1930 Phillies have won five games and the 1968 Phillies have won only one. That means five times at least the 1930 Phillies will advance to the second round of this project. At least five times. It could be six, depending on today's game, using National Pastime 3. This game, we don't have to worry about lefty versus righty. You might think that's a bad thing. I don't think it's that big a deal. Uh, the game is good. The game is fast. The game is accurate. And uh, I played it more than any other game, as you probably know. So let's go through the lineups once more in this first round between for the Philadelphia Philly franchise. Leading off and playing second base, Bernie Freiberg batting second. He gets to play today. First baseman, Don Hurst batting third. The right fielder, Chuck Klein batting fourth. The left fielder, Lefty O'Doul batting fifth. The third baseman, Pinky Whitney. Batting 6th, the catcher, Spud Davis. Batting 7th, the center fielder, Denny Southern. Batting 8th, eight, 8th, the shortstop, Tommy Tefanow. And batting ninth for the last time in the first round, Susu Studio, Phil Collins with the grade 6, quality 0 pitcher. And uh, there's one reliever that's better than him, Milligan, but otherwise they're all worse. From what I saw. Anyway, for the Philadelphia Phillies, leading off and playing third base, Tony Taylor. Want to see his card? There it is. Batting second, the shortstop, Roberto Pena. Batting third, the center fielder, Tony Gonzalez. Batting fourth, the right or left fielder, Dick Allen. Batting fifth, the right fielder, Johnny Callison. Batting sixth, the first baseman, Bill White. Batting seventh, the catcher, Clay Dalrymple, batting eighth. The sec second baseman, Cookie Rojas, and batting ninth, the pitcher, Chris Short. I always get pop-ups when I try and do videos. It's annoying, I know. Anyway, we are going to start this one right now. So Bernie Freiberg is up. Of course, there's no stats because we are just beginning the project in National Pastime. So here we go. So Freiberg is up. And he grounds out to the pitcher, who throws him out at first. One away. Oh, I have to adjust some things here. Uh, some things I'm not used to. Move manually. Manual click. I think that's what I'm used to. Let's see if uh, it just automatically goes to the next one. Here's Don Hurst, the first baseman with his 403 on base and 522 slugging. And manual click error. Something's on. Something's going on here. I'm not used to this. I'm gonna. Okay, it's not manual click. No delay. It's that. You have a new season. Something you have to adjust some rules. You're not used to it. Okay. So now it's Hurst. Here's the pitch. Yes, he grounds out this pitcher. So Short has fielded the ball twice. And there's two away. Here's Chuck Klein. He's been disappointing. But here, he has a possible home run. So if we roll between 11 and 46. Yeah, because Short is an L. Hmm. So 11 and 46. It will go down to the second dice roll. So it is. So now if we roll between 11 and 26, he has a home run. But it's 56, so it stays a double. So Klein is on with a double. Brings up lefty O'Doul. And possible error. And it's not. So he strikes out, and the inning's over. So here's Tony Taylor to lead off for the 68s. Flies out. Get Roberto Pena gets a base hit, and he's pretty fast, I think. Doesn't give a opportunity to steal. Why is that? Yeah, so that's another thing I have to adjust here. 
Stealing. It's a jump system. I'm not sure. Oh, jump system adjustment off. No, no, that's not it. I'm just surprised it didn't try to steal. That's all. Okay, Tony Gonzalez. He walks. Two men on for the disappointing Dick Allen. Now, here's an interesting thing. He has a two in the outfielder, which means he's a. this game thinks he's a good outfielder. Hmm, interesting. He's also fast. Doesn't mean he has speed, but he can score normal than more than normal uh, when he's on base. He, gets, he scores runs when he gets on base. So that's what that means. So here he is, and he has an infield fly pop out to second and leaves Johnny Callison and he pops out. So through one inning, we're scoreless. Here's Pinky. Fly out. Ground out. And we have a chance at a home run here. Goes, it's 6-6. Uh, six, six. You see it's a zero here. It goes to the second row. Second column. Is it column or row? I think it's a uh, row. Column. Column. Yes, they're columns. So anyway, so if he gets a 11, a 22, a 33... 66 there'll be home runs otherwise it will be a double or a single 63 will be a double but he has a because of the l he has a chance oh he passes the first test will he pass the second yes he does denny southern gets a home run to put the 30s up one to nothing here's tefanow he gets a base hit so one, a man on second, two out, brings up Phil Collins, who has a good hitting card. We've talked about this before. He rolls a 66. It's an automatic home run. 23. Innings over. So after one and a half, 30s, one, 68s, nothing. Phil Collins back on the mound to Bill White. Look at this possible error range. I've never seen that before. That means they... They get, commit a lot of errors. One to six, 11 to 16. That's, you gotta avoid that. Okay. Fortunately, he rolled higher. Del Ripple strikes out. Cookie Rojas strikes out. So through two innings, one nothing, 30s. Here's Freiburg. He flied out and Hurst is up. He grounded the pitcher. So Freiburg grounded the pitcher and flied out. He's 0 for 2. Here's Hurst. He grounded the pitcher last time. And see, when the Phillies roll, it's 11 or 12. But they get an error. So Freiburg reaches on an error by the third baseman. That is, uh, of course, Tony Taylor. He's not... Yeah, here's this steal thing. Doesn't try to steal. So Klein. Klein is doubled the first time up. So he wants to play hard today. And... The 8 is nullified by the B. Normally an 8, the result is always a single, except when the pitcher's a B. So he nullifies it, makes it a ground out. Runner advances, brings up lefty. Lefty gets a home run. An instant 33 is a home run for lefty O'Doul. You can see 33 is a 5. A 5 with a man on is a home run. 3 nothing 30s. Uh, Pinky grounds out. Chris Short is up. He's trailing already. Three to nothing. Ooh, Collins takes away the base hit. Taylor grounds out. And Pena grounds out. So through three full innings. That's 68. Lead it three to nothing. Chris Short to Spud Davis. Another error. This time it's by... By... Uh, Roberto Pena. He's not going to try to steal. So Southern, he hit the home first home run of the game. His first time up. Flies out to right. To Callison. One away. Tefanau. He gets a double ones, but it's only a single. Because he's not the greatest hitter. But he reaches. And look at all these S's. So we are going to... Have them only advance one base 
on not to take the extra base. We're we're telling them you're give, you're given the red light. If there's a base hit, you're staying put. Because probably get thrown out. Here's Collins. Ground out. 5-3. They advance. So now there's two away for Freiburg. Freiburg's hit by the pitch. Could see our first base clearing brawl of the series. Bases load now for Hurst. Chris Short is in trouble. And he flies out to right to end the inning. So here's Tony Gonzalez. He walked first time up. Gets a base hit. Brings up Dick Allen. He grounded out to second first time up. He gets a base hit. Two men on. Nobody out. And the Phillies of 68 have something going here in the fourth inning. Callison. He walks. The bases are now loaded. Nobody out for Bill White. He walks. So we got trouble here. Base is still loaded. Nobody out. One run in. Three to one. Cal Clay Dalrymple struck out. We need that now. He walks. Everybody walks. Now base is loaded. It's three to two. Cookie Rojas. Hey, double play. Five, two, three. Hits the ball to Pinky. He throws home for one to Spud, who throws it to first for the double play. Exactly what we needed. Still not out of the inning, although Chris Short is the pitcher and he bats 181, or reaches on base 181, so his batting average is probably less than that. And he grounds out the end of threat. So it could have been worse, but after four innings, it's the 30s, three, the 68s, two. Last inning for short. Chuck Klein, who homered last time, he grounds out this time. No, he didn't homer, he doubled. I'm getting Lefty O'Duel mixed up. Fly out and a single for Pinky. He's not gonna try to steal. But he's a slow runner, so we're gonna put the brakes on him. Unless it's a double, then he can score. Here's Spud, 0 for two. Grounded out to shortstop and reached on a shortstop error. And he gets a single. Let's see here. If, if I didn't have the brakes on, let's see what would have happened. Any runner to third. If the center fielder is a three-arm runner out at third. That is who? Gonzalez. So he would have reached third if I didn't have the brakes. That's always the trade-off. You're playing it safe, but... You know, it doesn't make a big difference if they, uh, with two out to get to second or third in my books anyway. It's not worth the risk. Here's Denny Southern. He homered and flied out to right. And he strikes out. So it's still 3-2. So will we get the short? We might. Collins last inning. Tony Taylor. Fly out to left field and lefty O'Duel. Roberto Pena. Ground out to short. Two away. Tony Gonzalez. Ground out to second. And short is done. So who are we going to bring in? Doesn't really matter. We'll just bring in... Don't have to worry about the lefty-righty thing. Let's see. We got uh, Boozer is a 7-2 with a Z and a G. And a, he's pretty good. Paul Brown. Haven't heard of him before. Larry Colton, 2-1. Turk Farrell, 9-2 with an L. It's a bad thing, L. Woody Frymans, 10-2, Y and W. Dick Hall, 6-3, double, triple Z, and an N. Uh, we will not use him unless we have to. 9-3 with a Y. Larry Jackson is 10-2, Z, G, which is pretty good. James, Jeff James, 10-4. Oh, 10-3, because he's relief it's in brackets. Y, W. Jerry Johnson, 8-3. Wagner, who was the GOAT in last... But he's a good pitcher. Look, he's like the best pitcher we've seen. 11-2 and an I. I is the best rating you can have. Basically, it's almost next to impossible to give up on a home run. And Rick Wise, who's not very good. So we will save Wagner, who was, gave up nine runs in the Stratomatic game. But we will save him because he's that good. We will bring in... We can only go one inning. So we will bring in... Ah, we always bring Woody in. We love Woody. I loved him when he was with the Expos, so we'll bring him in. He's 10-2, throws left. He has a B, which nullifies a lot of the 8s, a Y, and a W means he walks more than normal. Here's Tommy. Tommy grounds out to short, one away. 
Phil Collins, he could bat for himself, but we'll see what we got on the bench. If we don't see much better, we'll just leave him to bat for himself. Yeah, there's some good ones here. Fresco, Cy Williams, but we'll we'll save him for when there's base runners on. Yeah, he'll bat for himself. Why not? He's pitched so well for us, so we'll give him this reward. And he has a possible error. 62, no. Okay, here's Freiburg with two out here in the sixth. 3 2 30s. And he grounds out. So Collins is done. Now let's look at this. Horrible excuse for a pitching staff. 1-4. You can't get worse than a 1-4. He's a Hall of Famer. He's a legend. But he was out of juice here in 1930. The only good thing is the Z. Everything else is dreadful. Oh, double play plus, I guess. Benji, 2-4. Or 2-3 because his in relief is in brackets. Here's Hap. Hap is a 2-3 with a Z and an L. L is bad. Hal Elliott, 1-3 with a G. Snipe, 3-4. Koopal, 3-3 with an L. Milligan is the only good one. 10-2, but he has a double, double W, which is bad, which means he walks everybody, but he has that wonderful eye. Chet Nichols is about the best we've seen, but he has the M, which is next worst to an N. N is the worst, M is the second worst, and then L is next worst. Here's Buzz, 2-1, M. Harry Smythe, 1-1-W-G. One, one, Byron Spies. He has a beloved H and a good Z, but these are bad. Sweetland, who has two wins in this series. Who would think it with his 1-3-M? And Claude Willoughby. Okay, Claude, it's you. It's going to be you, Claude. Don't get a chance to pitch very often, but you're one of the better ones, I guess. He doesn't have those horrible... L, M, and N's, and he doesn't have a W, so that's why he's in the game. We should have brought in someone with the uh, takes away home runs because here's Dick Allen. He gets a base hit, so he's more dangerous in this game than any other game so far. Callison, he gets a base hit. Uh, first and third, nobody out. Here's Bill White. Okay. The tying run scores, a fielder's choice, runner on first, out at second, batter to first. He's not going to steal. So game is tied at three. White is an S. Dalrymple, a ball to the batter. He gets another roll. Okay, oh, here's that horrible 11 to 16 error. 22, doesn't make the error. Okay, Cookie Rojas. Base hit, but he's out at third. Gets thrown out by the center fielder. Southern with his three arm. Okay, so that's it for Woody. We're going to bring in Boozer. John Boozer is coming in. Might as well go alphabetical order. So the tying run, it's in the seventh inning. We're tied at three. Here's Hurst. Hurst strike the Hurst. He gets another roll. Grounds out to short. Klein has doubled. Ground out to third. Ground out to short. He's one for three. And he pops out to the shortstop. Here's lefty O'Doul. Struck out Homert and fly to left. He gets a base hit. He's not going to steal. And he brings up Pinky. Pinky. He's the player of the... He is the most valuable player for the 1930 Phillies in this series. He is batting around 450. And today he has a base hit. So he's one for three today. So his average went down a little. But he's still the best on the team. And he gets a base hit first to third. See what this means here? If you're not familiar with this game, if I roll 11, he steals. And if I roll 66, he is out. So it's only a 50-50 chance. It doesn't pay to even try, in my estimation. So Pinky is going to be held. Let's see if we can score the tying run. Spud is up. He's one for three. He reached on an error. He ground to short, and he singled. And he flies out. And the inning is over after six and a half. Three-three. So that's it for Boozer. Boozer is going to come... 
of the game and we're gonna bring in he's a slow runner Heisel lock we don't play lock very much so we're gonna play put in lock now he's a decent hitter one of the better hitters on the bench and who's gonna pitch we are going to bring in Yeesh, they're all so horrible uh, except for you boy he gets one, two, three. These guys aren't big home run hitters. I could be shooting myself here, but but if he if he gets to Al, uh, Allen, we're going to be in trouble. But we're going to take a chance. We got to use up our M's. So here we go. Chet Nichols. Don Locke can hit one out too. If it's 66, is an instant home run. One, three, walk. We need to get a one, two, three inning. We didn't get it. Tony Taylor. He is 0 for 3. He flied out to center, grounded to the pitcher, and flied out to left. Ooh, two ones are often double plays, but not for Tony Taylor. He just flies out to left field. Roberto Pena. Double sixes. So. It's in the second column. So we gotta hit one of these singles. 33. That's a triple. Roberto Pena triples in the go-ahead run in the seventh inning, and it's four to three. Gotta bring the infield in for Tony Gonzalez. No error, no error. Double play! He's so fly it out to the amazing fielder, Chuck Klein who's back, Stratomatic, once again, is the only one that had Chuck Klein as a horrible defender. 2-3, he has a rifle arm, and he's a good outfielder, and he showed it here as he caught the ball, threw out uh, Roberto Pena at home to end the inning, but the Phillies take the lead 4-3. to three. So that means, is Locke a decent fielder? No, he's horrible. We will take him out, and we will bring in Larry Jackson. They're going to take no chances. They don't want to lose. They've lost so many games. They are going to bring out the big boys for the rest of the game. Larry Jackson. Here's Denny Southern. He homered. He flied out to right and struck out. He gets a... Oh, he gets a... Inside. He has a chance at a homer. Not very good chance. 11, 22, 33, 66... Are the only ones. He has doubles in here, but he also has a lot of singles. 25. That is a double. He's on. Jackson nullifies a lot of home runs too, but... Okay, here's Tefanow. He's a good bunter. I know that. Now, they say if you're on the road, you play to win. You don't play to tie. That's what they say. That's the old saying. At home, you play to tie. So, he's going to swing away. Oh, we should maybe bunt. I don't, know, I don't like bunting with a man on second because if it's a fielder's choice, all of a sudden you, you got the man out of scoring position. So he's a fast runner. So we are going to swing away. Fly out. Runner holds. He chokes. Chet Nichols is a pretty good hitter too, but we have better. We have better. We have Psy. Now if we bring in Psy, are they going to See, this is where I don't like to outsmart myself. They could walk them. Would I, you know, I have to call for both teams, so I'm going to have to bring in Cy with somebody on first base just so I don't outsmart myself. Who am I going to bring in now? We still have lots of good hitters here on the bench, like McCurdy, who mistakenly pitched uh, or played in center field. I thought he was a center fielder, but he's a catcher. Didn't look very carefully. Uh, yeah, we're, we're bringing McCurdy. Okay, McCurdy. Here's the big roll. What will it be? Three, six, pop out the short. So let's, for for kicks, let's look at what... Okay, well, we'll look at what Cy would have done with a three, six. 
Show display card for Cy Williams. 3, 6, 14. He would have walked. Which is better than a pop-up. Although he has a Z, so he might have nullified the walk. All right. What's done is done. Here's Freiburg. Double sixes for Bernie Freiburg. Good chance of a tie game here. We could have more. 54. It's a base hit. No. So many. He's a F runner. That might save us here. Yep. He scores. Uh, played safe. Game is tied at four. So, uh, yep. Just single right runner scores. I mean, what? Doesn't matter what the, the speed of the runner was, he would have scored regardless. So Bernie Freiburg comes through and ties the game. Here's Hurst. Hurst, fielder's choice. We'll ignore the injury thing. He's out at second and is injured. So it is tied now after seven and a half innings. McCurdy will not play center field today. We will bring in, we got Allen. So we're going to bring in somebody that nullifies the home run. Sweetland does not. Spies does. Smythe does. But he also walks people. Okay, Harry Smythe. We're just worried about the home run here. Harry Smythe coming into the game to face Dick Allen. One's four. Flied out to left. Brings up Callison. Callison has walked. Singled and flied out or grounded out to third baseman Pinky Whitney. Callison, 6-6. Six, six. Okay, so this is a home run unless we can roll 11-26. to 26. Otherwise, Callison, he homered in yesterday's game in uh, the Strat game. And he's going to homer here again unless we get the roll. Doesn't get the roll. 53, home run, 5-4, 68s. Harry Smythe. Gives up the home run. Bill White walks him. So it's runner on first. 5-4 now, 68s. One out here in the inning. 5-6. Didn't get the error. And we'll put the brakes on. What's fair is fair for both teams. And Cookie Rojas. Wild pitch. White goes to second. No, we're not going to walk him because they'll bring in Heisel. We leave Cookie Rojas because he's a wonderful fielder. Nine is only one better. Ten and number of ten second basemen I've seen are I don't know if I've seen any. So he's like the best you can get. Single, but he's out at home because he's an S. So that saved us there. Five four in the ninth. So that means they're going to bring in their closer. Their closer. Uh, who is their closer anyway? The Grant Jackson? Dick Hall? No, not him. Turk Farrell? Well, we'll bring in the best pitcher they got, which is Gary Wagner. 11-2 with an I. He can't get better than that. He can, but not on this team. There it is. B.I. That is a closer's rating if I ever saw him. Okay, he's going to face Chuck Klein. He's going to face Lefty O'Doul and Pinky Whitney. That eye will take away almost all home runs. So it's the last chance for the 30 Phillies here in the ninth. Ground out. O'Doul is two for four. He's homered. He's singled. He's flied to left and he's struck out. He gets doubles, so it's a single. He's not going to steal. O'Doul is a pinky. Pinky today. Two singles. A ground to short or to second and a fly out to center field. Double play. The game is over. And once again, the 1968s have won. For the second time in the series, they lose the series five games to two. But uh, they're very happy that they will advance in the National Pastime 3 series. So, let's look at the box score. So we can see here the lefty O'Doul was the best hitter for this for the 1930 Phillies. 
Uh, every pitcher gave up runs for the 38, 30 Phillies pitching staff. And the big hitting star for Dick Allen actually did something in this game. Uh, Callison, though. Callison is the star because he hit the home run in the eighth inning to give the 68th the win. And the winner is Larry Jackson, although he gave up a run too. But the, you can see the Phillies of 1968 were much better pitching-wise than the 30s. So that came through to get today in National Pastime 3. Well, we completed the Phillies. So I will post all the results on the blog or the, the forum and uh, I'll put a link in the description and uh, you can look at that and see all the stats for the series. I didn't do, do all the recordings also so you can uh, look at all the other games I didn't record. Anyway, this is uh, King Ikibu. We've completed the 1930-68 Phillies franchise series. So it's a pleasure to bring this to you today. This is King Ikibu coming to you live from Connie Mac Stadium, Shide Park. Have a good evening, everybody.